What's good, YouTube? Faisal Khan's brother may have taken YCS doubts, but here on livestream, the Spiral Duelist takes down PPG's Trickstar Duelist Jose in an epic final battle, and Faisal is able to take this one down. Wow! What a turn of events! What a match! This was crazy, and Faisal just takes it down. 2-0 for the finals, but what was more crazy maybe was the top four where there was ABC. Let's go ahead and break down all of YCS San Diego here for you guys. I've, I've got it all loaded and ready to go. Something insane from the Dragon Duels that top it here was uh, actually two brothers as well. Faisal Khan's brother, interestingly enough, got, got 33rd, unfortunately, making it so there couldn't be a brother-brother final in the main event once again, and a chance at back-to-back -back for uh, Imran. But you know what happened here? We call him Mecha Faisal. Mecha Faisal took Dallas, got 33rd here, should be proud enough. But Faisal, his brother, coming in and taking it down. Definitely finishing what he started. Ooh, I had all these memes prepared if the Faisal side won. Faisal has more memes than most duelists should. But coming into the Dragon Duel uh, finals yesterday, uh, we had Dawson Graves win against his brother in the finals. Then his brother took today's Dragon Duels to face him in the grand finals. And then Dylan managed to beat his brother in the finals 2-0. Dylan taking the Dragon Duel for YCS San Diego as well. It looks like spirals were everywhere. And Texas is on A, taking the weathery pink to rainbow. I see you over here. Oof, uh, that's a nice giant card coming back to Texas. But let's go ahead into the top 32 breakdown. I'm sure that's what a lot of you guys are interested in. We had 17 spirals. The reign of spirals is not over and i'm sure a lot of people might be going back towards the deck tomorrow after this trick stars really felt like the villains and pendulum magicians were represented almost as much as trick stars with interestingly enough a spiral magician player i can't wait to see that deck list personally the other star of the day was the abc making it all the way to top four we'll know if he's third or fourth later Man, just what a crazy YCS. Definitely a lot more diverse overall, but Spiral's dominating almost half the field once again. That's turning a lot of heads already. What has to happen to this deck for it to slow down? Well, you're probably going to need another ban list for this to stop appearing as this kind of a number. But realistically, this top cut doesn't show the diversity of the format. At exception, bubbled with Infernoids. Michael Temez was almost guaranteed to top with Dinosaurs, but unfortunately his sleeves got marked by natural play and getting worn. They were actually side deck cards, his Droll and Lockbirds, and those as well took him out of the competition by DQ. So that's what happened to that Dinosaur deck, unfortunately. I've had that personally happen where I just got a warning for it. <clears throat> they just told me to replace my sleeves. But Temez, it was three of the same card, unfortunately, for him. Whereas for me, it was three different cards when it happened to me, so... Sorry, Temez. It happens. Hopefully you stay in Yu-Gi-Oh. I saw a post about him wanting to quit the game after that. But this deck breakdown really shows the three decks to beat really were Trickstar, Pendulum, and Spiral. Oddly enough, Invoked managed to top both YCSs where Spirals were full power and seemed to have just completely disappeared. One of the uh, Trickstars, I believe, was a Wind Witch variant as well, if I'm not mistaken. As we come down into the top 16, we can actually see that it was Aaron Arturo. He managed to play Trickstar Wind Witch, and uh, I think he might have fallen to Spirals there. We then have it Spiral Spiral, Trickstar, nope, nope, he makes it into top eight. Trickstar Mirror Match, unfortunately for him where he loses to jose who's in the finals and then we have pendulum versus spiral where faisal takes out the pendulum player and abc is taking out the other pendulum so actually one quarter of the top eight was pendulum magicians but both fall here to different decks 
We then go forward to where uh, we have Faisal on the feature match versus ABC and Jose taking down his opponent so that we have a diverse finals finally and it was just crazy overall I I, I I have not enjoyed this coverage so much in a long time thank you core TCG's own Denny Yu for giving excellent commentary it was very nice to have him on there I think the final game one uh, field here was Ib Sleeper uh, we have the Super Agent Helix and Firewall Dragon on the field with Last Resort equipped. So that was kind of a crazy ending to game one. Faisal really, I think, turned it out in singular turns both times. He started, uh, he, he went first, his opponent got a turn, and then he OTK'd, I believe, game one. And then game two, he wiped it up in a turn again. Jose really seemed to activate hand traps where the commentators said uh, he could have activated them at other places. I think it is important to think about where you use your hand traps, but I've also seen when you activate a hand trap and it just shuts down a spiral's turn. I think it's somewhat proper to wait for the helix but again it, it seemed like jose's playstyle got him all the way to the final so who am i to critique that it's uh great that ppg's own made it that far but but faisal khan finally taking his w this upstart kid this guy who's been terrorizing the scene topping nationals with ba at one of the youngest ages i think it's really awesome that he's finally come full circle i think he's a lot more mature i want to see how he carries this win under his belt and it is awesome the memes are already coming out of this so what did you guys really think about kind of just this mashup this this setup of uh the different decks breakdown i i personally am happy with abc i remember another tuber saying i overrated abc on my top list i i definitely overrated invoked on my top 10 list for the format when i first uh saw it. but i don't think i necessarily overrated abc obviously it's not the most attended out of this top cut but it definitely has a lot going for it and i think after this ycs we'll see a lot more duels picking up this deck a lot more duels picking up this deck i don't know about trick stars but it is relatively budget and then spiral magician that is the spice i think robbie actually posted a broken pipe dream uh pendulum spiral deck earlier today if i'm not mistaken so it, it's not really a pipe dream maybe it, it did indeed take a top slot here this is an uh, interesting top cut spiral tough was also very notably uh around a lot of the top cut i i think i saw faisal maining them if i'm not mistaken we should see his deck list later i assume but spiral tough really did come out in droves and so did cyframe gear gamma i think one other huge part of watching this coverage is this card evenly matched it just wiped boards completely we would see people build up six seven card boards mid game and this still come in hot like they would clear a board be in a clear winning position and evenly matched would come out and just slam it it's it's probably the most unfair card of the format. Uh, yes, you get, you get more out of it going second. It's a going second card, all that kind of stuff. But man, when you draw it, it can be such a blowout. There's so few decks that actually play through this well. That's why I like Invoke so much. You get your resources back to your hand and you play the same way as you would next turn. I definitely just think this card is on another level of abuse and i hope something happens to it soon or you get some hard counter ash ash is a different kind of broken but at least it's a hard once per turn when you're not probably activating more evenly matched than one per turn but it's definitely just crazy how people are putting in mind crushes to try to counter this scoldings etc people are just trying to figure this card out and if you watched any of the coverage this just dominated the swiss rounds but again congrats to faisal khan Definitely one of the most characterized duelists out there who has really grown up through the scene. I, I think he was a different person before, and I really, I really do look forward to how this man carries his championship under under that belt of his. So again, congrats. He's he's definitely one of my favorite duelists to watch, the favorite to watch with interactions. His brother and him back-to-back -back finals for Faisal his brother getting 33 this is just like a storybook finish when his brother does leave it all to him and he takes it down it doesn't get much better than that right guys like I I can't think of a better ending for him having lost it and fallen to his brother to pick it back up with the same kind of a deck and take it in the next one that's that's just amazing to me showing his consistency good job Faisal Khan 
Also, I'll be live streaming right now on Twitch if you're watching this on Sunday night. Sunday nights get pretty crazy on live stream, so come and join the live stream right now on Twitch at Zodiac Duelist TV. It's gonna be a super fun night, so be sure to join.